For most GPS applications, it's timing that matters most, not positioning. We demonstrate here a civil GPS spoofing attack against two GPS-based timing sources. The first timing source is typical of those used in cell phone base stations, while the second is commonly used to synchronize so-called phaser measurement units that monitor the power distribution grid. This experiment is part of a broad effort at the University of Texas Radio Navigation Lab to characterize civil GPS spoofing and its effects. Our civil GPS spoofer is built on a software radio platform. Both the receiving and spoofing operations run on a single high-end digital signal processor. The spoofer tracks authentic GPS signals and synchronizes its counterfeit output signals to their authentic counterparts, making it impossible for an unsuspecting GPS receiver to tell the difference between the two. These two devices are GPS time reference receivers taken from cell phone base stations. The bottom receiver is tracking authentic GPS signals, whereas the top receiver is tracking counterfeit signals generated by the spoofer. As you can see, both receivers are reporting GPS lock. In this attack, we've set the spoofer to artificially shift the timing of the victim receiver at a rate of 3 nanoseconds per second. You can see here the violet trace shifting right at this rate compared to true GPS time represented by the blue trace. The artificial clock rate bias must be kept slow to avoid triggering alarms within the GPS time reference receiver. A shift in the timing of the victim receiver results in a delay or advance of the receiver's pulse per second output. You can see the two pulses here slowly separating as the spoofer drags one of the receivers backward in time. By using the spoofer to inject an artificial clock rate bias of 3 nanoseconds per second, a 10 microsecond timing error can be introduced in the span of one hour. This level of timing error is enough to incapacitate a cell phone base station. In a similar experiment, we show here that a GPS-based timing receiver, like those used to synchronize measurements of the power grid, can also be brought under control of a spoofer. The receiver's low-quality internal clock allows the spoofer to aggressively manipulate the receiver's time output without raising alarms, leading downstream instruments that depend on GPS time synchronization to report spurious phase variations in the power lines.